are still celebrating Earth Day here on Sunrise with a week of good energy stories focused on the benefits of electric vehicles. Chris, you've talked a whole lot about EVs this week, but there are still so many questions floating around out there. So many questions, and I thought I would take some time to answer at least a couple here and then hook you up with the people that really know this stuff. The Oregon Electric Vehicle Association. More on their ride and drive event in just a minute. First, a few questions. Steve Barrick says my 2009 F-150 still runs like new. An EV that old will have needed a new battery by now. That is a major cost. You know, a lot of newer EVs come with 100,000 mile powertrain warranties. And from the Oregon Electric Vehicle Association's Gary Exner, who we talked to throughout this week, he says we're now to the point where battery packs with issues are independently repaired and not replaced. Internal combustion engines, transmissions are commonly rebuilt and EVs now enjoy the same option. All right, question two also from Steve. EV tires are designed for the weight of the car and other specifics to EVs and thus cost more to buy. This is true, says Doug Descalas at the Ron Tonk and Hyundai dealership in Gresham. EV tires contain noise deadening foam that does increase the cost. All right, question three, we'll shorten this one up from Rob Edgerton in Yamhill. He asks, why are public chargers so expensive? And it's complicated, but the short version is this. Public chargers cost money for installation, maintenance, hardware, software, etc. From the Oregon Biennial Zero Emission Vehicle Report, the Department of Energy notes that a level two charger can cost anywhere from $1,300 to nearly $5,000 per unit. And a DC fast charger capable of charging at 350 kilowatts could cost upwards of $180,000. Secondly, fast chargers draw significantly more power from the grid, and even as residential customers know, rates per kilowatt vary during the day. The end result is that fast charging is not that much cheaper than gasoline. This is why level two charging at home with utility rebates for equipment and charging your vehicle at off-peak hours is how you save money. And Chris, while we were kind of watching this story, he had an interesting thing to say. You said that um, with those like chargers that charge the fast, fast chargers, yeah, the yeah. fast chargers that they can cost like 75% of a tank yeah, of gas, you, you right? You are paying for the convenience mm. and for the demand, which we mentioned there in that story. And that's why it's just so critical that, that people either have the ability to charge at home or at work at on a level two rate, which is, which is a slower charge, mm. takes longer, but it costs a lot less. You're paying right. for the demand and you're paying for the convenience. Mm -hmm. so, Absolutely. Good to know. The Oregon Electric Vehicle Association is having a test drive event this Sunday, by the way, on Swan Island at Daimler Trucks North American headquarters. You'll have a chance to talk to owners, EV owners, that is soak up all kinds of electric vehicle wisdom and take a ride in up to 24 different EVs from BMW, Chevy, Hyundai, Tesla, and more. And Pacific Power will have representatives on hand to answer questions about your charging needs as well. That's this Sunday on Swan Island, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can find a link to that event on our website.